happy day. So for those that are tuning in live, uh, welcome. Um, uh, there's some first timers. I'm sure some of you are also tuning in on demand as part of our future DMB members. Um, super excited today uh, for this, the first session of what I call the inner circle mentorship. Um, over the years, I had the opportunity to coach actually over um, actually thousands of students uh, across North America. And this is something that, you know, um, so this kind of one-on-one, -on -one, this live type of mentorship coaching was what a lot of students really found valuable. So instead of coaching students one-on-one -on -one, uh, in person, which I used to do, um, part of the inner circle is really just to be uh, able to coach students live in a group. And you'll find that th these, such, these inner circle mentorships are going to be very intimate, um, very also very casual as well. Um, I'm going to be sharing a lot of my personal stories as well uh, that can help you relate to uh, where I came from as well. But um, I'm super grateful that you have chosen to spend the time here today. Um, I've actually, you know, this is just all my scribbles over the, over the weeks of preparing for, for today's um, uh, session, so I might be looking down and looking at my, my scribbles, but um, I'm grateful to be able to share some of these success habits, what I call it hacks, that um, success hacks that I've gathered you know, over the last few decades, which has brought me to where I am today. And where I'm today, I, I truly feel like it's kind of the best shape of my life where I'm at right now. But first I have to tell you where I came from um, because some of you know my story, but I had a twin brother growing up and part of having a twin brother is uh, my twin brother, um, if you have a twin, you're invincible because you almost match you also almost cover each other's weakness so one of my greatest weakness was i couldn't read growing up pulled up to high school i actually couldn't not read and actually not a lot of people know about it so i'm actually sharing with you uh, with you guys because i uh, this is all about trust and vulnerability but i couldn't read all the way up to close to maybe grade 10 but i actually ex excelled in school that's because my brother my twin brother he was very, very smart, and he actually helped me uh, academically in every way possible, including reading for um, book reports, you know, reading textbooks, summarizing it for me. Um, the reason why I share that story is because we all have our challenges and stories, and if I can overcome these challenges and be the, the, the person I am today, uh, feeling great and feeling my best, uh, you really can too, but it doesn't just happen um, without effort. So today, what I'm going to share with you is are all the all the uh, these kind of five momentum hacks, if you will, that I think will really help prepare you for for next year. Because let's face it, you know, it's um, this year has been not easy for many people. You know, with the rising inflation, the recession. You know, with the, the wars, uh, we have to uh, face our obstacle, obstacles um, with almost an opportunity. You know, we have to find the opportunity in these obstacles. So I'm going to summarize these momentum hacks, just five of them, uh, in kind of rapid fire. So if you can kind of save questions you have to the end, uh, for people on demand, if you have questions, um, that you think of, feel free to email us and we'll try to get back to you. Good? All right. So the first hack um, is one of my favorite and it goes, focus more on solutions rather than problems. So what do you, what do I mean by that? You know, 
uh, it seems pretty straightforward. Focus more on solutions rather than problems. Um, I lied, you know, because 5% of the time, I would say you can focus on problems. But have you ever seen, interacted with someone or, you know, a friend that just talks about their problems all the time? You know, they just they complain about things, they worry about things all the time. They, uh, it just seems like problem after problem after problem. And there's this, there's the saying that, you know, our life is what we focus on. So it's, it's not surprising that these people that spend most of the time on focus on problems, they are oftentimes quite miserable and quite depressed quite uh, hopeless. Um, so I'm not saying that you can't focus on problems, but the majority of the time we have to focus on solutions. So how do you focus on solutions? Um, you can type in the chat box. You know, how do you, what are some ways to focus on, what's one easiest way to focus on a solution? Because you know, I'm, I'm sure as a pre-dental student, our problems are endless. You know, I was talking to a student, she was facing some challenges with inter maybe preparing for interviews. Many of you have a lot of problems you face, you know, whether or not your GP is high enough, whether your DAT score is good enough, uh, whether you um, maybe some problems with, you know, whether or not don't know what school to pick, you know, because there's like hundreds of schools to pick from, whether to, you know, go to, the states, you know, well, these are all problems, but um, how do you focus on solutions? So the easiest way to focus on the solution is actually the question you ask yourself. Does that make sense? So the question actually def defines your focus. With a better question, actually it leads to better, better answers. Um, as a, as a, Navy SEALs, what they actually train, Navy SEALs, the kind of elite group of uh, soldiers, um, they get trained on, you know, what in this situation can I control immediately right now? What can I control? What can, what's within my control instead of what I can't control, which is infinite. So with better questions, it leads to better answers. And with better answers, uh, it, it actually leads to a better life. So think about the questions that you ask yourself in your head. Um, there's a saying that, you know, um, there's no dumb questions. I actually have to argue that. There are actually dumb questions. And a lot of the questions are the ones that you ask yourself, which is, um, why am I um, so stupid? Uh, why am I so much slower than everybody else? Uh, why am I uh, always, you know, don't have my shit together? You know, these are actually really, really disempowering questions that we ask ourselves that actually leads you to focus on problems. So think about questions that you ask yourself that leads to solutions. So what are they? You know, what are some some questions that can actually lead to, lead to solutions. I'm, I'm gonna give you an example of, of a few that I thought about. Um, for example, what's one more way I can be healthier, right? What's one more thing I can eliminate that's stopping me from to doing the things that I could be doing, you know? Uh, what's one more thing I can do to enjoy my work more? Uh, these are all questions that we must focus on that actually helps us create solutions. Um, the, I have to say, you know, some questions won't, you won't have immediate answers for. Um, don't assume defeat if you can apply logic and solutions when that happens, you know, because some questions you ask yourself may never have a solution um, because the whole point of life is to ask to question life so you can find solutions 
but if we focus on the only problems, then there you're not really gaining a lot of momentum. And also with when you focus on problems, then you really are just stalling and actually decaying and not actually you know thriving. So the second hack um, might seem a little confusing at first, but I'm gonna um, talk more deeply about it. And that is the saying uh, that little things are the big things. And this took me a long time to really grasp. And I feel like uh, this life hack is actually what transformed my life because uh, I used to get really confused with this saying, you know, rule number one, I'm sure some of you have seen this, is don't sweat the small stuff. Um, but the rule number two is, you know, it's all about the small stuff. I mean, you've probably heard of this. What does it mean, you know, don't sweat the small stuff, but it's all about the small stuff? Can you guys think about it? Think about it a little bit, you know. How are these two um, phrases similar? So, I actually spent a lot of time thinking about this as well, because when you don't sweat about the small stuff, then that means, you know, um, you just don't care about things, right? You might feel like, oh, well, I'm just going to eat this piece of chocolate because don't sweat about the small stuff. It doesn't matter. Or I'm just going to sleep in today because don't sweat about the small stuff. It doesn't matter. Or I'm just going to, you know, um, say something really rude to someone, you know, because it's the small stuff, it doesn't matter. But the fact is the small things is what the, your life is created upon. So the little things such as your thoughts, um, your habits, your routines, um, the way you express love to someone you know these are these small things that is actually what creates you your character and if ultimately what's what you create success um because a lot of times people will think you know what what can this small action uh, do to the big picture of things um i have to tell you, you know there's no secret to a lot of successful people, including myself. I, I wouldn't consider myself successful. You know, I'm still learning and growing, but I, I realized that, you know, the little things that I do consistently, waking up, you know, at 5.50 every morning, uh, um, exercising, the first thing I do in the morning, uh, meditating in the morning, uh, journaling in the morning, um, having a green juice in the morning, um, these are all little things that successful people do. You know, when you look at Bill Gates or you look at um, ultra successful people, they just do the little things consistently. You know, it's not like they have some magic wand or they have, they're infinitely smarter than us. Um, they just do the, the little things the right things consistently every single day, whether or not they want it or not, whether or not they feel like it or not, they just know that the little things is what builds success. So what is the little things that you're doing, you think you can do that might help you? And this is just a um, this 1% principle that uh, really illustrates the importance of little things. You know. Uh, for you math, math whiz out there, uh, if you multiply one, you know, consecutively, you compound that, you know, 365 times, meaning if you're just 1% better at everything you do, uh, at the end of the year, you're actually 37% better version of yourself. Have you ever realized that? In reverse, you can see that if you are just 1% lazier, 1% eating unhealthily, 1% not moving, you are actually 1,500 times weaker than you are today. So this compounding effect, a lot of people don't realize the power. And I would say this is because of this 1% principle that I've really adopted that 
you can say changed my life. You know, when I think about, you know, watching that, that extra episode of Netflix, you know, I think about this 1% principle. When I uh, have to uh, eat that extra piece of chocolate cake, you know, I think about this 1% principle. When I think about, oh no, I'm just gonna snooze one more time. I think about this principle because it's all about this little stuff. Okay, hack number three. So this, this is uh, this seems very straightforward and very simple, um, but it's really profound. Uh, notice what has worked well, you know, in the past this year, and do more of it. So what's one thing that has worked well that you're really proud of that you can just do more of? Um, for me, it's really you can actually see it right behind me, but what I found is that oftentimes we uh, lose, we need to be reminded, you know, no one's perfect. So what you see there are actually these little post-it notes that I post on every single door in my, in my house. And if you zoom in and look at it, every post-it note, what it says there are reminders for me, you know, what kind of person I want to be today. How can I serve people better today? Um, what kind of skills can I practice today? Uh, what exciting thing can I look forward to today? You know, we're all human beings, you know, we all need reminders and we all need um, momentum to drive us to be better. And so this is just the one thing that I found that I, 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 I did that you know, really worked out. Well. Initially, this was just on my bathroom mirror, but I just told myself, wow, this is working really well. You know, I, in my mirror, I, I wrote down, you know, um, today is going to be the best minute of life. So I said, you know what, it's worked well, so why don't I just put it on every single door? So what is one thing that you have done really well? It could be maybe waking up early or um, go plant-based diet or... Uh, cut out sugar from your diet or walk a little bit more or exercise you know every single day whether it's five minutes or half an hour it doesn't matter but you just consistently do it so find that one thing that you find has been empowering you this year and just do more of that next year very very, very simple but very profound and uh, hack number four um, the opposite Notice what has not worked well in your life for this year and do less of it. So very, very simple, but really, really profound. I call it the not to do list, you know, and for me, the not to do is actually very simple. It's not snoozing, you know, um, how many, how many of you have multiple alarm clocks, you know, just so you can snooze a little bit more. Um, it's actually creates an, an habit without you knowing it. subconsciously it's a habit but there's a lot of things that we do subconsciously that we don't realize is affecting our life uh, one of the quotes that my, one of my favorite quotes is you know if you do things the same way and expect a different result then it's actually a definition of uh, insanity and the quote is actually from uh, Albert Einstein. So if you do things that are not working for you uh, consistently, then that's actually what's maybe creating um, a lot of um, dis disempowerment in your life. So just do less of that. Identify a couple of things that has not worked and do less of that. And finally, um, the last hack, you know, it's, it seems again, um, like a cliche, you know, being bold, being brave, and be courageous. Um, why? Because, you know, the fact is there's no one, no one out there that's going to come and save us. You know, it, it, it's, it won't be, you know, the next president or the next um, mayor that's going to come and, and save, save us, you know, and, and there's no magic, magic money printing machine or, or success one. Um, so, you really have no, you're, 
you have your own permission to do whatever empowers you. And I have this uh, kind of analogy of this glasses, you know, um, in life, we're, we're, gift, we're all gifted a, a prescription of glasses and we can't expect other people to see through our glasses, meaning we can't expect other people to see our visions, uh, see our goals, um, see what we want to strive for. Um, because everybody wears a different pair of glasses and we also cannot judge other people for seeing having their visions through their glasses as well um, you have your own permission of living your life so um, remember to be be brave and be courageous because there, there's definitely going to be a lot of people that's going to be challenging you um, on your your own journey as well. Okay, so um, to end, I just wanted to um, introduce uh, this exciting kind of new membership that we were launching next year. This is kind of a sneak peek, um, but part of this inner circle mentorship um, monthly is me committing to mentoring students uh, live as a group. Um, but our membership also includes um, programs that help you have a better understanding of what dentistry is about. Uh, also programs that can help you through your application process. Uh, we also have lots of um, time-saving resources that can help you um, make a better decision about your career path. Um, so, um, you know, with the, with the membership of $99 a year, uh, it's actually less, less than the Spotify membership, you actually get everything. Um, and if you sign up, then you can actually use the promo code future DMD gift and receive another 15% off. So this uh, concludes the, the, uh, the five momentum hacks for the upcoming year. And I hope if you have just taken away just one thing and taken action, then I think um, your, your time spent uh, today is definitely well worth it.